Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at it and see what the universe wants you to know at this particular point in time. So what is it that you need to know? What the Tarot Guides want you to know? What is it that you need to know about your current situation or um, maybe your emotional state here? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, I'm just going to go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and we'll begin. Okay, bottom of the deck you have the page of cups the page of cups here is an invitation for you to open yourself up to the wonderful possibilities and opportunities that are coming in for you okay um, some opportunities in life only knock once and if you don't answer the door they won't come back or they won't come back um, around knocking again so be open okay to all these possibilities that and opportunities that are coming in for you okay it's an energy of anything it's an energy that tells us anything can happen okay even a even like a fish that's uh, can pop out its head out of a chalice so there's going to be some very pleasant and unexpected surprises that are coming in for you so allow yourself to be open to receiving these surprises whether they're messages, love offers, intuitive messages here, yeah, little signs and synchronicities, be open to all of them. Speaking for synchronicities, learn to look for synchronicities and signs from nature that are going to guide you on your journey and on your path here. Yeah. Now, they may come from unexpected places. They might not even make sense to your rational mind, but be open to the possibility so that you're ready to discover new aspects of yourself here. Yeah. It's like, to me, it feels like you're following some intuitive breadcrumbs. One intuitive clue is going to lead to the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing. That's what it feels like. And suddenly, before you know it, you're going to find yourself in a place of flow, in a place of alignment here. So trust your intuition, go with the flow, and be open to possibilities here. You are going to receive a message that's related to the emotions, the intuition, or a creative endeavor. It could be the birth of a baby, an engagement, a marriage, a new love interest, a proposal. It feels like a surprise, but it feels like something that you're ready to receive when the moment comes, okay? Um, oh, I've just messed up the cards. There is, some of you, I feel like there is... There is something wonderful happening for you here again, but make sure you're not resisting it. Make sure you're not blocking your energy, you know, your energies unblocking these um, opportunities and these possibilities here. The Four of Wands is a very joyful kind of energy. There's a lot of harmony or relaxation. It does depict a homecoming here as well. Some of you are going to be reaching an important goal or milestone. Um, some of you are really in a place, in a good place, in a place where you're really appreciative of all the good things in your life. It's also the perfect time to celebrate with the love, uh, with you know the people that you love the most. Some of you are celebrating a significant event or milestone. So wedding, homecoming, home reunion, engagement here. Um, you're going to be really relaxing and letting your hair down and enjoying this very special time here. Now, I'm seeing that stability and firm foundations are being planted right now. And, you know, if and this relates to like current romantic partners, work. There's this harmony and balance and completion, which marks a very significant time of peace and contentment in your life but it feels like this has been brought on by hard work and 
your work ethic and your results. So if you've been working on a project, you're going to be reach and you're going to be reaching an important milestone and you're going to be celebrating here. Some of you are going to wrap up a project and you're going to be celebrating here because a vision is becoming realized here. Something is coming here to fruition, so a vision of some sort is becoming realized here. There's worldly success, material abundance, financial security, stability, discipline, um, abundance. Did I say abundance? I think I said it twice, three times now. But it, I feel like that's important for you to know that there's, these things are coming your way. And to me, the King of Pentacles is an energy that represents the highest attainment of material success. Okay, so, you know, his castle sits behind him. He is the symbol of all that he's built for himself through his hard work, his discipline and his de determination here. You should be very proud of your achievements. And you should be very proud of all that is coming to you here. And you will be because I feel like you're showing off your prized possessions here. You'll be in a place, and again, only if you allow yourself to be in this position where you're attracting and manifesting wealth. And you're also identifying opportunities for growth and for success here. I'm also seeing anything that you're investing around at this particular point in time, whether it's like a new romantic energy, a new relationship, a new business, a new partnership, a new job. This is something that's going to become long term. OK, um, so this is something that is going to be. You're going to be in it for the long haul. You're going to be doing this for the, the long haul here. Um, when you apply your vision, you're going to have huge success here. Money is going to be flowing to you abundantly, guys. Um, you're no longer struggling here with what it is that you're desiring. Because I feel, and some of you uh, no longer feel like you have to prove yourself here. You're creating a rich life here, and not just materialistically, okay, uh, but also spiritually. You're setting yourself up really well for the future here. Continue down this path. You don't need to take any more risks because I feel like they're paying off here. You could potentially be attracting large sums of money through a business enterprise here or some sort of deal. Now, Eight of Cups, something may be coming to an end, okay, for you, but what you don't realize, for example, a romantic energy could withdraw, turn their back and walk away from you, they could ghost you, they could distance themselves away from you, they could just withdraw or abandon you, um, you could get stood down from a job, um, you might suffer job loss, you don't see it now, but essentially it's helping you escape a problem later down the track. So it's it, it's suggesting to me that you're escaping something, something very problematic here. So don't be disappointed that it hasn't worked out the way that you expected to. And realize that your what you're getting in return is so much better here. Okay. Um, for some of you, I also get a message that now is the time where you have to decide to put something behind you and move on with your life. Even if it's going to bring you a sense of sadness, you need to say goodbye. You need to cut ties with a certain individual or you need to say, you know, instead of sitting around and waiting for this person to come back or for things to get better, you need to leave that person or you need to leave behind that unfulfilling situation here. Okay, because at one point he or she may have been everything that you wanted them to be or this job or the situation may have been, um, you know, it may have been uh, great at one point, but it's time for you to let it go and move on because deep down inside, whether you care to admit this to yourself or not, it is not serving your highest good. Okay, so... By avoiding, by avoiding letting someone go or letting go of a problem or an emotional 
some sort of emotional situation guys it could be a certain romantic energy or an emotional wound that you're refusing to heal there's some sort of major psychological issues that are coming up here so i get the message for you that in order to heal this you not only have to treat the symptoms of, of it but you also have to treat the root of it and some of you are trying to pretend as if you know the issue is no longer there or it no longer bothers you but in in doing that you're actually refusing to deal with the issues so you might be suppressing and repressing your emotions you might be refusing to have conversations here with others about what's happening or what's going on you might be avoiding the scene or the person altogether okay but it's time now you face the truth and it's time now you no longer give someone or something your attention because it's just no longer it is serving you okay eight of cups is a situation where you no longer have a choice you need to walk away from something here because it's bringing you a lot of pain a lot of sadness a lot of hurt why put yourself through all of that it's time to walk away and start the healing process okay guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing subscribing to the channel for those of you interested in a personal reading please feel free to reach out bye for now